positive reinforcement happens when you present a desirable reinforcer as a consequence to a behavior. This causes the behavior to increase. The rule of thumb is, if you are providing reinforcement, even if it's not conscious, your dog will repeat the behavior. Reinforcement can be anything, attention, treats, or toys. It is whatever motivates your dog. A dog sits when he is presented a treat. Your dog relieves himself on the carpet after a long day alone. If he was able to steal food off the table one time, he will continue trying to steal food. Reinforced behavior, either by you or the environment, will increase that behavior. Can you look at me? Sydney, look at me. Good girl. Extinction is the removal of the desired event or reward as a consequence to a behavior. Young lady, where are your manners? This causes that behavior to decrease. If you do not want your dog to repeat the behavior, do not give it any reinforcement. Even talking to your dog can be seen as receiving attention and the dog will repeat that behavior. Decide what you want your dog to do instead of the unwanted behavior. It needs to be something that is incompatible with the unwanted one. As an example, your dog cannot jump on people while laying down. He cannot bark at the door while bringing you a toy. He can't bake at the table while laying in his crate while you eat. Teach him the new thing so he's proficient at it. You need to either prevent or ignore the unwanted behavior. You cannot stop unwanted behavior if your dog is allowed to do whatever he wants. Behaviors you ignore are things like barking at you for dinner, mouthing on you, or begging at the table. Behaviors you prevent are access to inappropriate chewing objects, barking at the door, and stealing food off the table. If your dog is acting up out of fear or insecurities, do not ignore her. Many shelter dogs or dogs with traumatic pasts need more comfort. Ignoring them can make them more insecure and unsure about themselves. There is no evidence that comforting a scared dog is bad for the dog or that it teaches them to act scared to get attention. Learn to differentiate between your dog being insecure, scared, or uncomfortable versus misbehavior. Reward the requested behavior. If you ask him to sit before saying hi to people and he sits, you should reward with lots of attention and petting. If he tries to jump, remove the reward until he sits again. If he's not barking at the door, reward him. When the leash is slack while walking, he should be praised like crazy. As long as the behavior isn't dangerous, it is up to you if you want your dog to do it or not. If you're okay with your dog eating off your plate, that's up to you. You can let them on your bed or not. They can bark at the door if you want them to. It is your dog and you can let them do whatever you want as long as it's not dangerous.